Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today we are going to work on a project for my daughter. We are redoing her room and one of the things she asked for or requested was like a light up sign. I don't know why my voice is so hoarse. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, uh, I couldn't find one that I liked or even that lit up. Everything I looked up was like a neon sign, which is not the vibe we are going for in her room. So I found these like signs on or canvases on Pinterest. I will insert a picture here, but I thought it would be really cool if I could do this glitter canvas and then add some lights to it as well so that it would have like a soft LED effect as well as the glitter. So I'm going to show you what materials we are going to use. And this is an experiment. I have never done this before. I'm hoping it works out okay. If it does, hopefully you'll be able to repeat this project. The ones I saw on Etsy are going for like $450. Now, I don't know if they're enormous canvases or what, but that's really expensive. So this will not cost nearly that much, like dollars rather than hundreds of dollars. So anyways, uh, I'm going to show you what we're working with. So I just have this 11 by 14 canvas. I had it uh, already just in my like craft supplies. I don't know how it got dinged, but it did. So hopefully that won't matter once it's all done. But um, I'm also using these glitters. So I have like these extra fine glitters. I already had them from doing glitter wine glasses. And <clears throat> I figured these would work really well. I don't know that I'm going to use all of them. I may just stick with like these two, but we're gonna kind of see as I go. And then I also picked up this, uh, it's called Unicorn Mix and it's glitter shapes and it's got like these little hexagons and stars and circles, I guess. I don't even know what all's in there. I can't really tell. For sure hexagons and stars. And then, um, because I figured I needed some big glitter and I want to go down to the fine glitter based on the picture. And then I also picked up this LED light from Amazon. I will link it below. It's supposed to be like a soft LED, but it looks pretty bright. But I'm going to poke holes in the canvas at the end once it's all done and stick those through and we'll see how it ends up looking. I am also using these paints. Um, this is just Apple Barrel brand. You can get it at Walmart. Uh, so I have white here and then gray. I don't know if I'll need that. Just I'm trying to make a dusty pink, so I don't know if I have to add that to it or not. And then I have this bright magenta um, pink. So I'm going to show you the color we're going for. Her bedroom's going to be like all white with this like light dusty pink. This we got her for her birthday. It's a little pig. And this is kind of the color that the pinks will be that are in her room. And then she'll have a little bit of like light turquoise, but just like just a very little. But I want the canvas to overall be like this kind of pink and gold. So I'm going to try to make that color in paint. So this is my example. So let's see what we can do. So I just wanted to mention that whenever I'm mixing a pastel color of paint, I start with a large amount of white and then I just bring in color very, very gradually to keep it light. As you can see, the color is not even remotely close, like it's too purple. And this almost has like an orangey look, I feel like. So I'm gonna try adding some orange and see what it happens. definitely the color I'm wanting. I think that's a lot closer. I'm just going to add a little bit more in so that it gets a little darker, but that's definitely the color I'm going for. So now that my paint color is mixed, I am going to start painting my canvas. I'm just dipping my dry brush into the paint and I'm not loading a whole lot of paint onto it, but the paint I am loading up, I'm painting towards the top of the canvas. And then as the paint runs out on my paintbrush, I'm taking that and dragging it down a little bit. And that's how I'm getting the streaky effect, if that makes sense. So 
the loaded paint is going towards the top and as the paint runs out of my brush I'm bringing it down and doing kind of a dry brush technique and then I'm making an uneven kind of a V on this just because I want it to be real artsy and uh, kind of abstract. While the paint is still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some of this fine glitter. And at this point, like I said, I am experimenting. So I'm just trying to see how this sticks on and how it lays. It did get a little heavy on what I had sprinkled on. So I'm just brushing a little bit off. And I'm just using a couple of different colors and mixing it in because I just want it all to kind of blend together. If you're doing this and you don't mind mixing your glitters, it might be beneficial to mix some of them separate. That way when you put it on, it's already combined, but I didn't want to mix my glitter, so that is why I'm doing it this way. So I basically just did what I could while the paint was wet, and as you can see, as I started adding the large glitter to the top, it was no longer sticking. So I went and got some Mod Podge, and I'm just brushing the Mod Podge wherever there's like bald spots on the canvas, and I'm just going over little sections at a time and adding the large glitter, and then wherever the large glitter doesn't um, cover everything. I'm also sprinkling in the fine glitter so that it will end up being a combination of both. And the large glitter I'm really just sticking towards the top because I wanted it to look like a gradual effect almost of the large glitter down to the fine glitter. And really I'm just kind of playing around with how I like it. I'm just doing it a little bit at a time and filling in wherever I think it needs to be filled in. And one thing I do want to mention is that adding some of the glitter while the paint was wet to the bottom gave it a nice streaky finish towards the bottom. I don't know if I could have gotten that effect with just the Mod Podge. So if you're doing this, I would try that also because it, I think that the effect worked out really well. And then once I get the top of this canvas done, I'm gonna add some Mod Podge to both the sides and the very top edge. And I'm mostly adding the large glitter to this part as well, and then filling in any blank spots with the uh, fine glitter also. So in order to keep the glitter from rubbing off, I am taking this uh, Ace Premium Enamel Clear Gloss Finish, and I'm just gonna give the canvas a quick spray with this and then let it dry. Now that it is done and I am really happy with how it looks, I am working on adding the lights. If you don't want lights added to your canvas, you can stop right here, but I definitely wanted them because like I said, my daughter requested a light up sign. So all I'm doing here is just trying to figure out where exactly I want the light switch to go and how it's going to lay on the back of the canvas for easy use. This is my daughter's leopard gecko. She brought him down to visit, so I thought I'd let him take a little tour of our canvas art. So after looking at this light battery pack, you can see that I have the switch down towards the back corner, but then I also have to be able to access this pack because the batteries go in at the back of this. So I needed to be able to take it in and out of the canvas. So I'm just using this two inch wide ribbon and I'm cutting it to fit on the canvas and I'm going to staple it to the back of this. And this is just going to create a little pocket where this battery pack can fit in there. And as you can see, there's still a little hole in the corner and that's where the light switch will actually be so that we can just lift up the canvas kind of easily and turn on the lights and turn it off without taking it off the wall. This part of the canvas is pretty hard, so I just wanted to get on here really fast and explain what I'm doing, but I want the lights to go up kind of high to start, but obviously there's the frame in the way. So what I'm doing is taking my finger and I am pushing the light up underneath the frame 
and I'm kind of folding it where I want it. Then I'm taking an X-Acto knife and just poking in, like pulling my finger back as I poke in because I don't obviously want to stab myself. Don't stab yourself, it's not a good idea. So I'm not, my finger has moved, but I am poking in with the X-Acto knife and I'm just like turning it and making a hole. And then I'm gonna re-push the light back up into it where I just was. And you can kind of see it poking through. There's a little bit of glitter in the way. And then I'm just taking a pair of tweezers you have to be careful because you don't want to break your lights, but I'm just trying to catch it with the tweezers. I literally just poked my own finger with the tweezers. Ow. And then I'm trying to pull it through just the smallest bit. And then I'm just going to add a little dab of hot glue to it. As you can see, this is not easy. It will get easier as I work down the canvas just because there won't be a frame in the way. But right now, while there's a frame, I wanted to get on here and like explain what exactly I'm doing to get these lights. If you don't care if your lights don't start at the top, then don't worry about this part. But I want mine to start at the top. So I pulled that through a little bit and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue in the hole and then kind of push my light back into it and see now I have that light right there. So now I'm just going to continue working my way down the canvas. The second row of lights is still kind of in the way of the frame so that's why it's going to take me a little bit to do this. Uh, and then the other thing that I want to mention is on this piece of art, I decided to concentrate the lights more heavily towards the top, very much like the glitter. Since it's large glitter at the top, I wanted more lights at the top. And then I spread them out as I go down. And when I turn the canvas around, you'll be able to see that you can see the paint through the canvas. And that's how I was able to tell where I was putting the lights. I also followed the pattern of the paint with the lights. I didn't want the lights off of the paint. You could do that if you wanted the lights to go all over the whole canvas. So really this is just up to you on how you want to do it. But for me, I wanted the lights to just be strictly in the glitter and in the paint. And as you can see, now that I'm not working in the way of the frame of the canvas, it's so much easier. So basically I'm just holding the light where I want it, moving the light out of the way a little bit, poking a hole with my X-Acto knife, and then adding a dab of glue and pushing the light in from behind. And it started to go really, really quickly after this. The whole project from start to finish maybe took about an hour to an hour and a half total. So it was not near as hard as it might seem. It's actually pretty easy to do. So again, I'm just gonna keep working my way down the canvas. And as I get to the end of the lights, keep in mind I have a 100 light strand on this. Uh, so you can choose however many lights you want with whatever you purchase. But for me, this is what I wanted and I will use almost every single light in this canvas. So I'm gonna work my way down, get as far as I can, and then I will end up having a couple of lights left over. And I'm just going to take those and uh, fill in just any little blanks that I see in the canvas to try to use all the lights. And I think I ended up using all but one or two total. So I really did get you know, my use out of the lights. But I like the fact that it's a battery pack because you don't have a cord hanging from the canvas that you'll see running down the wall. And uh, the way we put it in at the corner, it's really, really easy to just tip it up just slightly and turn it on and off on the wall.
So here's the finished canvas. We are so happy with how it turned out. It is so beautiful, especially in person. The camera really doesn't do it justice to just how sparkly and beautiful it is. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you did and be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. I post every Tuesday and Saturday so there's always new things to see. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.